So I'm at the Chicago Executive Airport in the hangar where I base my airplane, and I'm super excited because my brand new demonstrator just showed up. It's this Corso Red over Sterling Silver SR22. And there's a few things that I like to do in order to get ready to show the airplane to customers. And the first thing that I start with is actually the weight and balance. So I'm gonna show you how to get in the pilot operating handbook and find the weight and balance number. Believe it or not, this is a call that I get a lot where people are looking for this or they think that it's missing, but it's actually hidden a little bit. So we're gonna go in to the brand new plane and grab the weight and balance. So I'm gonna program into my flight planning software. And if you fly Cirrus, you can go in and the POH and find where the weight and balance is in, uh, in your airplane. So let's check it out. So in order to get to the weight and balance, I've gotta go inside the airplane and actually get the pilot operating handbook for this specific airplane. So this is an SR-22 and I'll show you exactly where that is. It's in section six of the weight and balance. All pilot operating handbooks are kind of laid out the same way. So section one and section two and a lot of your airplanes are gonna be almost the same thing. Section six is the weight and balance and I'll show you where the weight and balance is for our exact figures for our airplane. So when I open up the POH here, I can start to see, oh, I love this uh, the purple plane, but these are all the tabs. Section one is general information about the plane. Limitations are section two around uh, different uh, types of um, air speeds and weight and balance, that kind of stuff, uh, or CG limits, not weight and balance, but CG limits. Uh, emergency procedures, abnormal procedures, normal stuff. And then uh, we can start to see performance data. And then right back here is our weight and balance tab. So when people actually open this up and think, oh, I'm looking for the weight and balance. They'll th thumb through this really quick and start to see. So there's the, the kind of where the CG loading is. And all of a sudden they start pausing here and looking on the chart because these are the familiar graphs that we might be uh, looking at. And um, then they're looking and then they keep going. Here's all the equipment that's installed on the airplane. And, uh, and then, oops, we're done. And then I'll immediately get a call and say, hey, I think the weight and balance was forgot. But it's not. I'll show you exactly where it is. It's usually this page right here. So a lot of people will go right by it. This is the delivered airplane, the serial number, the tail number, and uh, the empty weight, the total moment, and the center of gravity. So these are the things that, uh, these are the numbers on this page here that where it's gonna look like in the POH in order to find it in a Cirrus. Um, a lot of people are looking for kind of those graphs, the center of gravity graphs, and that's actually in the limitations. I'll show you where that is real quick. So that way, if you're loading and programming your, your flight planning software, you're able to find exactly where you need to go and uh, understand what the, the weight and balance is for your particular airplane. And here's where this is. So these are your different data points, your max zero fuel weights, uh, your and the, the the points on which um, are the max and uh, the center of gravity limits. So, center of gravity limits are a limitation, and the weight and balance, the actual weight and equipment, is uh, is in section six of the POH. So, hopefully, you find this helpful. A lot of people will 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 call and ask about it, and they're thinking this is what they're looking for. That might be part of it, but they're looking for the exact number. It's that kind of blank. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a blank page, but it's a little bit more of a generic page and it's easy to thumb through, but these are the numbers that you want to plug in for your specific airplane. The other thing in the Generation 6 series that makes the weight and balance really easy is actually the weight and balance page on the avionics. Let me show you what that is. So if I'm sitting in the airplane and I actually turn on battery 2 and then battery 1, that will turn on the MFD. And you'll start to see uh, the, the, the screens pop up. They're super fast. They're part of the Garmin NXI system. Uh, Sears Perspective Plus, and uh, this is really cool. So I'm gonna come through and I wanna initialize uh, everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter, enter again, and it's gonna start to bring me through these uh, welcome pages. And uh, this is a little passenger briefing, so uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, you can go online and, and Facebook. Uh, there's been some passenger safety briefings that have floated around. You can actually, I made one, if you follow on the channel and um, and look, scroll through, you'll be able to see the safety briefing that I did. But this is kind of a last double check with uh, before you get in with your passengers. 
Uh, this this page right here is one of the last welcome pages and tells you, you know, one final check that one, are you safe to fly as a human being? Are you being affected by any of these? And then this is, uh, are, are you, are you get flying in conditions that um, your airmanship and airman ability is able to handle today? So different things that we have to do. Um, our fuel page, and then if I were to, I haven't put any fuel in, if I were to actually go here to our weight balance page, I can start to see what I can do. So you can see that 2458 number, that's from um, our, uh, the POH, that was our empty equipment, or our, our basic air, or weight, excuse me. And here's our CG limits, that's what we saw in the POH. And what's really cool is I can actually light up our cursor by say right here, push for cursor. So I'm gonna bring that up. It's gonna bring up this little uh, flashing light or uh, flashing cursor right there. And I can scroll through and set, okay, how many gallons do I want for fuel reserves? I used 15 gallons uh, for, that's just a good, uh, good personal minimum that I like to use. And then I can change the weights inside of uh, where everything, where, where I sit. So I can go and type in, using the keypad here, I can type in 220 pounds. I haven't missed many meals in my life. Um, uh, and I, you know, let's say I'm not flying with a co-pilot, I've got 50 pounds of de-ice fluid, uh, the TKS fluid. Nobody in the back. Let's say I've got um, you know 50 pounds of luggage in the in the rear right passenger uh, section and then I have nobody in the middle seat and then let's say I've got another 75 pounds in the luggage and you can see how the weight and balance uh, actually changes here so this is super cool because um, you know this you'd be able to kind of read the legend here this little triangle is where we're gonna take off um, this this little diamond is where we are currently and as we fly based on the amount of fuel This is where our CG is going to transfer in flight as we burn off fuel and get lighter So really powerful feature really cool because it forces you to you know acknowledge your weight and balance on every flight um, You know weight and balance is sometimes a pretty one of the most often overlooked things It's a lot of mental math this we can get actually very precise and it uses the actual uh, real live information from the airplane based on our weight with fuel, and uh, um, and what we've what we've programmed over here. So it's really kind of a cool thing. Hope you enjoy it. I hope you find that useful for finding the weight and balance in, in your airplane. And uh, if you ever have any trouble, you know, in putting that into your flight planning software, let me know. I'm happy to help. Leave a comment below. Um, but um, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you soon.